TikTok absolutely exploded in 2022. And if you don't plan on utilizing it for your Shopify dropshipping and e-commerce stores in 2023, then you're going to be massively missing out. So in today's video, I'm going to be giving you a full length step-by-step -step walkthrough of how to set up your first TikTok ads campaign, even if you're a complete beginner. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be showing you how to set up the TikTok business center. I'm going to be giving you a walkthrough of the TikTok ads manager. I'm going to be showing you how to set up a TikTok pixel for your Shopify store so you can track all of the data from your ads. I'm going to be showing you how to set up your first ads campaign, including choosing your advertising objective, setting up ad groups and demographics to show your ads to, and how to set up your first video ad, including sales copy. And then I'm going to be showing you how you can read and interpret the data for your TikTok ads. So let's get straight into it. So firstly, I just want to go over some facts about TikTok. So TikTok has over 1.5 billion monthly active users. Yes, that's billion with a B. So chances are you're going to be able to find the ideal customer to purchase your products because there's a massive amount of people using the platform. 18% of all internet users use TikTok. Again, just illustrating how many people are actually using this social media platform. So you'll definitely be able to find your ideal customer and people to purchase your products. TikTok is available in 154 countries, so it doesn't really matter what country you're selling your products to or what country you want to target, you should be able to target that country using TikTok. And finally, 36% 30, of consumers want to learn about products through short form videos like TikToks or Reels. So of course, TikTok is the perfect platform for this because it's completely built around marketing products using short form content or generally just creating videos that are short form, but marketing your products using short form content. So now that we've gone through that, let's get straight into actually creating a TikTok ad throughout this video. So in order to create a TikTok ad, you are going to need a TikTok for business account. So you can go to getstarted.tiktok.com and you should be brought over to a page that looks like this. We are going to sign up for a TikTok business account. Now, before you actually sign up for a TikTok business account, you are going to want to actually create a regular TikTok account for your brand, your Shopify store, whatever it is you're trying to sell. And you are going to want to start posting. So just go over to tiktok.com, create an account. You are going to just go and upload your profile picture. It's super easy to create an account. So I'm not gonna show you that in this tutorial because that is super easy. And what you are going to want to do is you are going to want to start posting some videos of your product. So I recommend to post around 20-ish videos of your products and just see how those videos perform organically before you start actually spending money on advertising. So you can see for this brand here that I'm running Flux Tea, I've posted around 20 videos and you can see some of them are getting decent views. We've got 3,000, 3,000, 2,500 here, 3,000 over here. And you can see I've got just over 100 followers and 2,000 likes. So now I'm gonna actually start advertising this brand. You can see I've got the website set up and everything like that. And I've already started to make some sales just strictly from organic traffic from TikTok. So that way I know people are interested in the product. So then you can validate that and then move on to actually advertising your product using TikTok's advertising platform. So like I said, go and create a regular TikTok account, start posting some videos on there of your products. And then if you see some of them are performing fairly well, getting a couple of thousand likes, then you are ready to start advertising your brand using TikTok ads. So again, like I say, you're gonna go to getstarted.tiktok.com. And from here, you are just gonna click on start now, and you are gonna follow the steps where it says create an advertiser account. So if you just scroll down, you're gonna see sign up with TikTok. So like I said, because you've already created a TikTok account for your brand, you can simply click on sign up with TikTok and then you are going to go and sign in with your TikTok account. So I'm just gonna to agree to the terms and conditions and click on sign up with TikTok. It will then ask you to sign in to your TikTok account for your brand. So just tie, sign in so you can see I've already signed into my TikTok account for Flux T. And then you are going to scroll down and you're simply just going to click on authorize. You will then be brought to this page that says create advertiser account. So we are going to choose the industry. I'm just gonna go for e-commerce. And then it's gonna ask you to choose a category within e-commerce. So mine's food and snacks. Then we've got the business name. So mine is called Flux Tea. 
Then you've got the time zone. So I'm going to choose my UK time zone, my currency, which is Great British Pounds. You can, of course, choose whatever currency you want to use. And then you can go and enter in the phone number for your business. And then finally, just agree to the terms and conditions and click on submit. Once you click on submit, you will be brought over to this page that says set up billing information. So from here, you can enter in a VAT number, company registration number. They are both optional, so you don't need to enter these in. And then you can choose your payment method. So you will see automatic payment and manual payment. I recommend just to have it on automatic payment so that you pay for your ads automatically and you don't have to worry about paying an invoice. So now we're just gonna click on go to ads manager. Now from here, it's gonna ask you if you want to go for the simplified mode or the custom mode. I recommend for going for the custom mode because you're going to get more options to go and customize your ads and who you want to show them to. So we're gonna go for custom mode and then you will be brought over to this area where it's going to ask you if you want to set up a campaign. Now we're not gonna go through that just yet. I do just want to show you the tabs that you can use in the TikTok ads manager. So firstly, if you just go to the dashboard, you can click on leave and you will be brought over to the TikTok ads dashboard. Now from here, you will just see an overview of all of your statistics. So you'll be able to see how much you've spent on ads, which ads are active, which ones have been disapproved, out of budget, underperforming, which means of course they're not doing very well. And then you can see an overview down here, how many impressions you've had, how many clicks you've had on your ad, how many conversions you've had. So this is the dashboard where you can basically just see an overview of all of your ads. So it'll show you a snapshot of all of your ads. Then you've got assets. So from here, you can go and upload different things. So for example, if you go to creatives, you can go and upload different creatives. So videos that you want to use for ads, you're gonna go and upload them. So if we just go into videos, for example, you can go and add a video creative as an asset. So you can go and click upload, and then you have multiple different assets. You can add images and things like that. If we go into audiences, you can then go and upload an audience. So if you already have an email list of people, you can go and upload that here. So if you click on create audience, you can click on custom audience. And what you can do is you can go to upload customer file, and then it will go and try and find those customers on TikTok. You can also go and create a custom audience based on engagement of your actual account. So it will say create a list of people who saw, clicked or engaged with your content. So you can see, I've got 112 followers, 2000 likes, quite a few people have shared, quite a few people have commented, saved the videos. So I can go and create a custom audience and go and advertise, advertise to those customers. Now, right now that audience is gonna be kind of small, so it's not really worth it at this moment. Generally, you want to do that when, when your audience gets a little bit bigger, when more people have engaged with your content, then you would go and create this type of custom audience. So there are multiple different custom audiences you can create. You can see you've got website traffic, user TikTok pixel, to create a list of people who visited or took specific actions on your website. So I'm going to show you how you can install the TikTok pixel on your Shopify store in a moment. So that way you can remarket to those people that come over to your website. So that is basically assets. Don't worry too much about the other areas where you've got catalogs, comments, events. We're not gonna go and cover those at the moment because this is just a tutorial for beginners. If we go into reporting, and with reporting, this is where you can actually go and have a look at your different ad campaigns and take a dive a deep into each campaign and see how they're performing. So once we actually start running some ads, I will show you later on how you can have a look at the data of your ads using the reporting area in your TikTok ads manager. And finally, we have insights. And insights will basically tell you about your audience of your TikTok account. So you can see for my TikTok account, 45% male, 54% female. If we scroll down, they're all based in the UK. You can see different areas of the UK that they are based in. So this is basically going to give you some idea of the people that are viewing your content that you are posting on your TikTok account. So you can see here if they're using Android, if they're using iOS, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So this can be very helpful because you can see the people that are viewing your content organically, and they're more likely going to be the types of people that will purchase your product or 
or as well for example if they've saved the video then they're going to have some type of interest in it so that way when you are marketing your products and you are going to go and advertise it on TikTok you can also go and target similar types of people so that way they're more likely to make a purchase of your product because they're more closely linked to the people that are actually viewing your organic content so that is how you can use insights of course we will go into this later on in a bit more depth when we are actually creating the ad campaigns now the first thing that we are going to do is set up the TikTok pixel so that you can track data on your Shopify store. This is really important, like I say, because when people are coming over to your site and you are getting traffic, if they don't purchase, you can later on then remarket to them using different ads to try and get them to purchase. So it's really important to be tracking that data. So in order to set up your TikTok pixel, you do firstly need to finish up creating your TikTok business account. So you are going to click on business center. And from here, you just need to finalize these three steps. So you've got business center name and time zone. So just go and enter these in. And once you've entered this in, go to step two, where it says describe your business. So you're going to choose, I'm an advertiser. I want to run ads on my own behalf for my own business. So you're just gonna choose this and then you are going to choose your company name. And once you have done this, you can enter in your website. And then you can scroll down to where it says industry. Again, I'm gonna choose e-commerce. Again, I am going to go and choose the category. And then you can go to step three, where you're gonna go and enter in your billing information so that you can pay for your ads. And once you have entered this in, you can simply click on create. Now, once you have done this, you will be brought over to the TikTok Business Center. Now, don't let this get too confusing because you have TikTok Business Center and you have TikTok Ads Manager. Now think of TikTok Business Center as the top of the hierarchy. So your business center is where you can go and manage multiple brands, and then your ads manager will be for that specific brand. So if we go to the TikTok Business Center, you will see advertiser accounts. So if I click on advertiser accounts, and from here I can create another advertiser account if I wanted to create a new advertising account for another brand. So you can see I've created this advertising account just for Flux T, so I can have multiple different advertising accounts for multiple different brands. So like I said, your business center is the top of the hierarchy, and then you have your ads managers for each individual brand. So that's basically how it works. Now, the reason you have to set up a business center is so that you can pay for your ads, and you can't run ads without paying for the ads. So from here, we are going to add the advertising account that we created for our brand to our business center, so we can start paying for the ads for this advertising account. So we're gonna click on request access. You are going to choose admin, and then you are going to go and enter in the account ID. So in order to get your account ID, you can click on your brand name here, this little drop down, and you will see this account number. So you are going to copy this, and then you are going to come in here. You're going to paste that ID in here, and then you're going to see the name pop up and you are going to click on request. It should then say, as you are the administrator of this advertising account, your request has been automatically approved. So you can just click on get it. So now that we have linked our ads account for our brand to our overall TikTok business center, the next thing we are going to do is install the TikTok pixel onto our Shopify store. So just head over to your Shopify dashboard and from here, you are gonna click on sales channel and where it says type to find sales channel, you're gonna type in TikTok and just hit enter. You will then be brought over to the Shopify app store and you will see this one that says TikTok. So just click on this. Now this app is completely free to install and as you can see, it will allow you to track results. So you can simply click on add app. Once you click on this, you then simply need to click on add sales channel. It will then say grow your business on TikTok. So we are gonna click on set up now. It is then gonna say TikTok for business and you are going to want to connect this. So click on connect and then it should automatically log you in to your TikTok business account because you are already logged in. So then you can simply click on connect. It should then recognize your TikTok ads account that you connected to your business center. So again, you can click on connect and then it will allow you to set up your TikTok pixel. It's gonna ask you for your level selection. I'm gonna go for maximum and then I'm going to scroll down. So this basically just means that you can go and track the maximum amount of data from potential customers and website visitors. So there's no reason why you wouldn't want to do that. And then you can scroll down and simply click on confirm. And then all you need to do is click on finish setup. 
Now it will say that your ads account is under review. This normally takes 24 hours. So don't worry too much about this. It basically just means that your TikTok pixel is pretty much set up. It's just pending review. And given that you're not selling anything weird or illegal, it should be totally fine. So then you've got your marketing catalog. So you can click on set up now. Again, it's gonna ask you to connect to your TikTok business center account. So we are gonna click on connect. And then it's going to ask you which countries you want to market to. Now, my product is just for the UK, so I'm gonna choose the UK, and then I'm gonna go and click on confirm. And then finally, I'm just gonna click on finish setup. If you scroll down, it will then say syncing products. So this is basically just going to sync the products to your TikTok account so that when you start to create advertising campaigns, you can go and connect those campaigns to your products. So now that we have done this, we are basically ready to start setting up an advertising campaign. So we're gonna head back to our TikTok ads manager. You can do this from your business center, go to advertising accounts and you can go and click on the accounts or you can just log straight into it. You should be logged in anyway as you've already created it so you should still be logged in. Now from here we are gonna click on campaign. Now when you click on campaign, you will see that a campaign is split into three groups. So you have campaign, you have ad group, and you have ad. Now let me just explain how this works. The campaign is the overall objective of the advertising campaign. So what do you actually want to get? Do you wanna get video views? Do you want to get more traffic to your site? Do you want to build brand awareness? Do you want to make more sales? Which in this tutorial, generally you want to make more sales with a Shopify store. So the campaign is basically why are you actually running the advertising campaign? Campaign. What are you trying to achieve? And when you set up a campaign, it will allow you to choose different objectives. Now the ad group, just think of the ad group as who you will be advertising to. So the ad group is basically who, the demographic, which country, the age, their interests and things like that. So that's the ad group. And then the ad is just the creative itself. So the video and the copy. So that is the breakdown of a TikTok advertising campaign. You have the campaign, the objective, the ad group is the demographic and the ad is the creative. So now from here, we are going to click on create. Once you click on this, you can then choose between simplified mode and custom mode. Again, we are going to go for custom mode. Once you've chosen custom mode, you will then be prompted to choose your advertising objective. Now you might be thinking because you're running a Shopify dropshipping or e-commerce store that you should go straight for website conversions. But if you go straight for website conversions, it's most likely that you won't see any of your ad spend being spent and none of your ads will be shown to anybody. And that is because TikTok ads have a learning phase and you basically have to get past 50 conversions for each objective to move on to the next learning phase for TikTok ads. So let me just explain that in a little bit easier terms to understand. So for example, for traffic, if you were to choose traffic, once you've got 50 people over to your website, then TikTok knows the type of people that will come over to your site and it knows who to show your ads to. And that way it can show your ads to more people and you can spend more of your budget. So you need to get past that 50 conversions, in this case, 50 people coming over to your site in order to move on to the next phase. However, if you just go straight in with website conversions and you're optimizing for checkout, then TikTok's gonna have a hard time finding 50 people that are gonna go straight to the checkout. So it won't know who to show your ads to and it will be stuck in the learning phase and it will never spend any of your ad budget and you'll just see your campaign stagnating and it won't ever spend anything. And you'll be wondering, I've got my ads set up, why, is, why aren't my ads spending? Why aren't they being shown to anyone? And that is because you haven't given TikTok enough data to go through the learning phase. So I don't recommend going straight for website conversions. I recommend either for your first campaign, go for reach or go for traffic. Now I do want to just show you a little bit about website conversions because the website conversions objective is broken down further as well. So I'm just gonna choose this for now and then we're gonna come back and we will go and choose traffic after. But I just want to explain a little bit more about the TikTok learning phase. So like I said, if you were to choose traffic, once 50 people come over to your site from your traffic campaign, then you can move on to website conversions. Now, if we choose website conversions, don't worry about the campaign name and all of this. I'll show you this in a moment. We're just gonna click on continue because when you choose website conversions, then you can choose the optimization event. So I'm gonna select the pixel that we set up on our Shopify store. And then when it says select event, you will see that there are multiple different events that you can choose. So a website conversion objective is basically broken down further into all of these different events. So you've got view content, you've got add to cart, complete payment, 
add payment info, initiate checkout, search. So these are basically all individual campaign objectives as well. So for example, like I said, if you were to choose a traffic campaign, once you've got a couple hundred people coming over to your site, you could then set up a new campaign, which is a website conversion campaign, and you could go for view content. And that would be perhaps maybe someone viewing your product page. Once you've got 50 people who've viewed content, viewed your product page or whatever page you're sending them to, then you can go and set up another campaign and get people to add to cart. Once you've got 50 people who have added to the cart, then you can set up another campaign and you could go for initiate checkout. Once you've got 50 people who have initiated checkout, then you could set up another campaign and you can go for complete payment. So you basically need to work your ads through each stage of these objectives. You can't just go straight in and choose complete payment because like I said, TikTok ads will get stuck in that learning phase and it won't spend any of your ad budget because TikTok won't actually know which audience to show your ads to because they're still trying to work it out. So you might have to spend a little bit of your budget initially and you won't actually see any sales because you're just trying to get through this learning phase. So just keep that in mind. So now I've shown you each of these different events, which are the website conversion events. And like I say, I recommend to create a campaign for each of these. And once you get through the learning phase of each of these optimization events, you can move on to the next one. So now we're gonna go back. And like I say, for your first campaign as a beginner, you're going to want to choose reach or traffic. I'm gonna go for traffic. Then you can name your campaign. So you can name your campaign for what you're trying to optimize for. So I've gone for initial traffic campaign and then I've put the product here. So this could be a new campaign for a particular product that you want to sell from your store and you're setting up the first traffic campaign in order to move through each learning phase for that particular product. So don't make it too complicated, just name it something that you're going to remember when you see your campaign name. You can set up a split test. Now for a beginner, I don't recommend in this. This just means you can set up two different types of campaigns and see which one performs better. However, like I say, that's a little bit more in depth and as a beginner, you don't really need to worry about this. Now, the next thing you'll see is campaign budget optimization and I recommend to turn this on. And basically what campaign budget optimization does is TikTok will work out how to best spend your budget and it will put more of your budget towards that. So when we get into ad groups and ads, let's say you have two different ads, two different videos, and one of them is performing better than the other. If you have campaign budget optimization on, then TikTok will push more of the budget towards the video ad that is performing better. Because of course it's performing better, you want to spend more of your ad budget on the videos that are performing better. So I recommend to turn campaign budget optimization on because it's going to allow TikTok to do the hard work in terms of working out where you should actually spend your money. Then you have your daily budget. Now when it comes to daily budget as well, there are a few things that you need to keep in mind. So you can go for a lifetime budget for your whole campaign or you can go for a daily budget. I recommend to go for a daily budget because when you go for a lifetime budget, if you set your lifetime budget too small, once again, TikTok will not spend any of your ad budget. It will just stagnate. You won't see any views, any impressions on your ads, and you won't see any ad spend at all because TikTok can't quite work out how much it should spend each day on the ads and things like that. So I recommend to go for a daily budget. Now, another thing that you need to keep in mind when it comes to your budget is, if you go for the minimum, which is 50 pounds in my instance, then if you have a very broad audience, let's say between five and 10 million, it's most likely that again, TikTok won't spend any of your budget because when you have a really broad audience and you have a very small ad budget, which is the minimum 50 pounds, generally TikTok just won't know who to show your ads to because you've got a really massive audience, but you have a very small budget. So it doesn't know where to actually spend your budget. So I recommend to put your budget a little bit higher if you plan on having a very large audience. And when you are first starting your first campaign, I recommend to go with a broader audience so that you can just get your ads in front of people and then you can narrow it down as you go along. So I'm gonna go for a budget of 100 pounds per day. It doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to definitely spend that by the way and also you can check your ads each day if you're worried about spending too much once you've spent one or two hundred pounds you can just cut your ads off and then you can move on to a new campaign which would be a website conversion campaign so i'm just going to choose my daily budget of 100 pounds and then we're going to click on continue
So now we move into the ad group. And if you remember, the ad group is basically the demographic. So when you name your ad group, you can name it appropriately. So I've just named mine females aged 18 to 40 in the UK. Also, if you are gonna go for specific interest targeting, you can add that in here as well. So I could go for T, for example. So just name your ad group appropriately. Now I'm just gonna name mine like this. You're gonna choose your promotion type, which is going to be website, your Shopify store, and then you can choose automatic placement or select placement. I recommend to go for select placement because if you go for automatic placement, something called Pangle will be included. And this is some other sites and apps outside of TikTok where your ads could be shown but I personally don't recommend this. So I'm just gonna untick this. I only want my ads to be shown on TikTok. Next up, you have the creative type and it will say automated creative optimization. So basically, if you have a few different video ads, let's say three video ads and three versions of your sales copy, if you turn on automated creative optimization, it will go and interchange them. So it will go and show certain sales copy on one video, certain sales copy on another video, and it will go and interchange them and try out different things to see which ads work the best. Now, personally, I don't recommend turning this on for your first campaign. It can be, get very complicated to track which ads are performing well and which ones aren't if you turn this on. So this is a little bit more advanced. As a beginner, I recommend to just have your ad creatives, have your video ads, have your sales copy and see which ones perform well. And then you can turn off the ones that are not performing well and you can keep spending on the ones that are performing better. So turn this off. Then we're gonna come down and it's gonna say select targeting mode. So you have custom targeting or automatic targeting. I recommend to, to go for custom targeting because you can choose exactly the type of audience that you want to show your ads to. Whereas with automatic targeting, TikTok will basically work it out for you. But again, that makes it difficult to know who your ideal audience is because TikTok's doing a lot of the hard work, but if your ads aren't performing, you don't know why they're not working. Whereas if you use custom targeting and your ads aren't performing, you can kind of have a look at why they're not working. You can tweak a few things. And if your ads are performing, then of course you can go and know exactly the type of audience that you've been showing those ads to, and you know why your ads are performing, and then you can replicate that to continue to make more sales. Then you've got your location. You can go and choose particular countries. You can also go and choose cities. So for example, if I was to type in London, I can go and target just London on its own. If you are wanting to sell a product to a particular group of people in one city, you can go and choose your languages. I'm just gonna choose English because my product is based in the UK. So I only want people who have their settings set to English. Then you can go and choose your gender. I'm gonna go for female. And then you can go and choose your age group. I'm gonna go 18 to 24 all the way up to 44. So if we scroll back up, then I'm gonna go and just change my ad group name. So I'm just gonna change that to 44 so that it matches the rest of my demographic. Then you've got this one where it says HF S product brand. Don't worry about this. This is only if you're selling products with high fat, salt or sugar. So you don't need to tick this. Now you can go and you can exclude or include your custom audiences. So if you remember at the beginning of the video, when I showed you the assets where you could create a custom audience based on people that have viewed your profile, people that have liked your profile, people that have saved your videos, interacted with your TikTok profile, this is where you can go and add them. So if we click on select, you can go and choose a custom audience audience. Now I don't have any custom audiences created, but if you have a larger TikTok account, you can go and create that custom audience and this is where you can include it. You can also create a lookalike audience. So if you've created a custom audience based on people that have interacted with your account, then you can create a lookalike audience based on those people as well, like which is really powerful. So once you get more into using TikTok ads, you can do some really powerful things. And what creating a lookalike audience basically means is that TikTok will have a look at people that have interacted with your account, and then it will go and try and find similar people on the TikTok platform. So again, once you get a little bit more in depth into TikTok, you can go and test some of these things out. You can also exclude audiences as well. So if for whatever reason you wanted to go and exclude people that have viewed your account, you can go and do that as well. So now if we scroll down, you will see interests and behaviors. 
So you're gonna see it's got a few recommended interests. So for me, it's got tea already because I'm of course selling a tea based product. So that's really cool. So if we just go and click on this, we can go and see what the audience size is gonna be. So you can see it's around a million, which is pretty cool. So I'm gonna leave it as that is. So that's one interest, but you can also go and search for interests yourself as well. So if we come into interests, I could go and search for something like, let's just say dogs, for example, you can go and search that and then you can see all of the different interests that are available. So you've got cute dogs, dog gloves, happy dogs, blah, 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 and so on. So just go and search for an interest that is related to the type of product that you're selling. Now, one thing that I do recommend not doing is stacking too many interests. So for example, I could go and put yummy, caffeine, tapas, rice, all of these different things. When you do that, if you stack too many interests, it's just going to make your audience kind of narrow and it's also going to make TikTok a little bit confused. So I recommend just going for really one interest at a time, I would say. And if you want to go and target another interest, I would recommend setting up another ad group for the same campaign. And then you can just go and name your ad group. So for this one, I'm gonna set this one up as T. And then if I wanted to create another ad group, I could go and create the same ad group and just change the interest. So if I was to come down here, I can just get rid of tea and I could go and put caffeine in or green tea, for example. And then up here, I can just go and change the name to green tea. So I'll show you how you can add multiple ad groups to the same campaign in a moment. So now let's scroll down. That's how you can go and add interests. Then you've got behaviors, so video interactions. So these are the types of behaviors that TikTok users have that you can target. So you can go and target people that generally watch videos until the end. You can turn that on. You'll see that your audience size should change depending on what you choose. You can go and choose people that generally like a lot of videos, generally comment on a lot of videos, generally share a lot of videos. So this is really cool. You can go and play around with this. I haven't really tested this too much, but you know, you can definitely test things. For example, people that have watched videos to the end, they're probably more likely to purchase a video because they've got all of the information about a video because they've watched it all the way through. So if they watch your video all the way through, they might go and click through to your website. So you can test out things like this. I'm gonna leave this unticked for now. You can also go and choose categories based on videos that particular people have interacted with. So if we come into here, we could go and say, for example, for my product, Let's have a look if there's any categories, maybe beauty and style, maybe lifestyle, are video categories that people might be interested in that also might be interested in a tea product. So you can go and test these out again. But like I say, do not make your ad groups too complex because TikTok won't show your ads to anybody if you make them too complex and you'll just have your campaign there. It won't be spending anything and you'll be wondering, why aren't my ads spending anything? Because you've just made things too complex and TikTok just doesn't know who to show your ads to. So try to keep things simple. So for now, I'm just not gonna have any video interactions. You have creator interactions. So you can go and choose audiences that have followed or viewed the profile of particular categories. So for example, again, for me, if we was to come to, let's say just fashion and beauty, as a matter of fact, if we get rid of this, we could go for food and beverage because mine is a tea drink, so I could go and choose this. And then I could say people that have followed food and beverage creators. You can see that the audience goes up massively. So I'm actually just gonna get rid of this again, but that is another way that you can target people. So there are a lot of different things that you can do with TikTok ads to test out different audiences. But like I say, I recommend testing them one at a time. Otherwise it's gonna get very complex trying to track what worked and what didn't. And then finally you have hashtag, hashtag interactions. So you can just go and search in hashtags. So for example, if I go and search tea again, we can see all of the tea related hashtags. We've got tea bag, we've got tea cup, blah, 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 so you could go and choose these. So for example, if I was to go and choose teacup, we can see if my audience size would change, it only changed very slightly. So I'm just gonna get rid of this again. So for me, I'm just gonna go and not include any video interactions, creator inter interactions or hashtag interactions. And I'm just gonna go for interests and the interest is going to be T. And then of course you can see up the top, we have UK, English, females in this age group. So now if we scroll down, you will have your budget and schedule. So mine's gonna be running all day. You can select a specific time if you want to. 
However, when you first start your first campaign, I don't recommend to do this again because TikTok can suddenly just start turning your ads off or not showing your ads to people. So I recommend just to let it run all day and see how it performs and then you can go and select specific times if you want to. You can also go and choose the time that you want your ads to start. You can run ad groups within a date range. So I could say I want it to start today and I want it to go and stop in, let's just say a week. We'll let it run for a week and hit OK. And then we can stop running it and we can go and assess the performance and have a look at the data. If it's performing well, then we can continue to run it. So you'll see the optimization goal here is a click. So we want somebody to click on it and go over to the website because this is a traffic campaign, which basically just means we want someone to go over to our site. Then you've got the bid strategy. I recommend just to go for lowest cost. This is your first campaign. Lowest cost basically just means TikTok will try and get people to click onto your site, onto your ad at the lowest cost possible. Bid cap basically means you are willing to spend a certain amount. So I could say I'm willing to spend one pound per click. However, I'm just gonna go for lowest cost. So now that you've done that, you can click on next. So now you'll get into actually setting up your ad, your creative. So firstly, you can name your creative. So I'm gonna name this TikTok video number 15 because on my actual TikTok account I have 15 videos if we actually go over to my TikTok account so on my TikTok account I actually have 20 videos but number 15 performed fairly well so I'm just going to call this TikTok video 15 because I know what I've named my video so just name this appropriately again don't keep make it too complicated then you have your custom identity so yours will probably be blank so this is where you can go and you can upload your logo so if we click on this pencil icon you can click on upload and then you can of course go and upload a picture of your logo I recommend 1080 by 1080 pixels and then you can just crop it appropriately and then you can just enter in the name of your brand so mine's just flux t and I can click confirm so that way when somebody views your ad they will see your logo here on the right side and they will see your brand name just up the top then if you scroll down you can choose your ad details so you've got a single video or a collection ad I recommend just to go for a single video and then you can go and upload your video so I'm just going to go and hit upload and then I'm just going to hit click to upload and then I'm just going to choose my video and hit open. Now, if you are creating your video ads yourself, they should be in the 1080 times 1920 format. And generally, if you're filming videos on your phone, they will come out in this format. So that's totally fine. So once you have ticked this, then you can just click on upload. Once your video has finished uploading, you can go and enter in the text for your ad. So I'm just gonna go and enter in butterfly PT is amazing, exclamation mark. Now, TikTok should come up with some ideas that you can use for your text as well. So if you do click on this, you will see that it's coming up with a few different ideas. Butterfly T is amazing. Butterfly T is awesome, blah, blah, blah. If you click on view more, it will come up with some more ideas that you can use. So this is called smart text, and this basically generates different copy that you can use. So you can see it's got English. I could go and choose the industry. So I could go and choose food and drinks and I could go and choose butterfly PT, and then it's going to come up. So if I hit generate, it's gonna come up with some ad copy that I can use for my ad. So you can see here, it's come up with a few other ones. Butterfly PT is awesome for your skin. Butterfly PT is great for your skin, blah, blah, blah. As a matter of fact, I am going to choose this first one and hit confirm. So now you can see we've got butterfly PT is awesome for your skin and you can see this is how it's going to look. So now you can scroll down, you will see interactive add-ons. So you can click on create and you can go and add some interactive add-ons to your videos. So you can add some cards, you can add some stickers, so you can create a poll and things like that. Now again, personally, I don't think this is that important for your ads, so I'm not going to use this, but if you want to, you can go and test them out. So now you can scroll down and you will see the customized call to action and you will also see the URL. URL. So you can either send people to your homepage or you can send them to your product page. I think wherever the main sales copy is for your product, whatever shows your product off the best, that's where you should send them to. So if you have a look at my store, most of the sales copy is on the homepage because this is just one product that we're selling here, a subscription to this tea. It's all on the homepage. However, if you have a store with multiple products, then I recommend sending people to the product page. So you can see for me from my homepage, 
people can scroll, they can read about the product, all the benefits of the tea, they can see all of the nice images. If they hit subscribe, it brings them over to the product page where they can just go and subscribe. So I'm actually gonna send them to the homepage. But like I say, if you are looking to sell a particular product and you sell multiple products on your store, then I recommend to send your customers to the product page. So I'm just gonna go and enter in that. And then, like I said, once you've chosen that, you can choose your call to action. So I'm just gonna go and hit edit on here. And then we are gonna go view selected text. And I am just gonna go for shop now. So all I want is to choose the shop now button. So you can see there's multiple different ones that you can choose, buy now, shop here, blah, blah, blah. I'm just gonna go for shop now and hit confirm. So then you will see that's on that button here. You can see we've got shop now. If you don't choose this, I think the default one is learn more. So I don't recommend to have that as a call to action for an e-commerce store. That's more geared towards lead generation. And you'll see by checking this box, blah, 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 you agree to the terms and conditions and your ads will be shown in the TikTok Business Creative Center. So you can just leave that on. Then you can go and choose your pixel. So I'm gonna choose the Shopify pixel that I set up. And then you can go and add in an extra tracking URL. If you're using Google Analytics or a Bitly or something like that, you can go and add that in here. However, we're not gonna do that now. So once you have done that, you that can then simply go and click on submit to go and submit your campaign and hopefully it should start running soon. It will then say, congratulations, your ad has been created. So you can click on back to campaigns. Now, once you click on this, it will just say that your ad is in review. Generally, your ad should be reviewed within 24 hours. So just give it some time for your ads to go through that review process. And then hopefully they should say active afterwards and they should actually start running. So we're gonna wait for the review process to be completed and for the ad to actually start spending. And then we'll come back and have a look at some of the data of this ad. However, in the meantime, I do just want to show you how you can go and add multiple ads and multiple ad groups to one campaign. So if we go back to campaigns, and you can see I've got two campaigns here, website conversions and traffic campaign. So if I wanted to have two different video ads for the traffic campaign, I can go and choose this campaign. So if I just tick this campaign, now I can go into ad groups. And what you can do is you can click on create. It will then bring you into an ad group under that campaign. So now I could go and create another ad group for the same traffic campaign and go and test them against each other. So for example, I could go and make this one males between aged 18 to 44 in the UK. And I can basically go and create the same ad group as before. So we can go and create the same ad group, but instead of females, I can go and choose males instead. So now we can come down, I could go and choose T as an interest again. So that way you can create multiple different ad groups. So multiple different demographics that you can show your ads to, but under the same traffic campaign. So that's how you can go and create multiple different ad groups. Now, if we just go back, we're gonna go back again. So I'm actually just gonna go and click on campaign and click on leave. And now again, if I click tick on this campaign, and I go into ads and again, I can click on create. And this time you could go to click on use existing. So you could use the same ad group, same demographic, but you want to go and try a different video and different sales copy. So you can click on use existing. You can go and select an ad group. So you can see my ad group females 18 to 44 UKT. I can click on this and click next. And now from here, I can go and upload another video and I can go and enter in some sales text and then I can again go and run the ad to a certain URL with a call to action and choose my pixel. So this way you can go and test out different videos under the same campaign and also under the same ad group. So I've got the same ad group, females 18 to 44 in the UK with the T interest, but I can run two or three different video ads to that same demographic and see which video performs the best. Now, when you're first starting out with your first campaign, I definitely recommend to do this. It might get a little bit complex if you're creating too many ad groups, so you're running your ads to many different demographics, but I definitely recommend to have multiple ad creatives, at least two or three videos that you're testing out, even to the same 
ad group and in the same campaign, but I recommend testing out different videos and different sales copy and see which ones perform the best because having multiple different ad creatives is really important and it's one of the best things that you can test in order to try and get more people over to your site. So like I said, we are just gonna go back to campaign now. I am gonna hit leave and then we are just going to wait for those ads to be reviewed and once some money has been spent for these ads, we will come back into my TikTok ads manager and I can show you how you can read some of the data for your TikTok ads. So after about an hour, my ad did go through the review process and it pretty much started firing straight away and it was spending. So I have actually just set it to inactive for now so I can show you some of the data from this campaign. So if we just go and have a look, you will see the total costs. I spent £44.71p. My cost per click was 35p, which is super cheap. Generally with TikTok ads or any ad platform, if you can keep your cost per click under $1, then you're doing pretty well. You'll see CPM, which is cost per 1,000 impressions, was £1.47, which again is really good. So I've, I'm paying around £1.50 for a thousand people to view the ad. Once again, I think that's pretty decent. You can see it got 30,000 impressions, 127 clicks. So 127 clicks through to the website. So you can see that that would take this ad campaign through the learning phase because I got over 50 clicks. And then if we go through, you can see it got a click through rate of 0.42%. That's not that great. So I'd want to test out a different creative, a different video, maybe some different sales copy. Generally, you want to keep your click through rate above 1%. So just keep that in mind. Then you'll see that we've got conversions, cost per acquisition. So obviously I didn't get any conversions, which means no sales, no add to carts, nothing like that. Cost per acquisition would basically show you if you had made a sale how much you're paying per sale so for example if i'd made one sale then the cost per acquisition at the moment would be uh, if we just scroll back back 44 pounds 71 would be the cost per acquisition if i'd made two sales the cost per acquisition would be 22 pounds so basically half of whatever this is so your cost per acquisition is basically your total cost divided by how many conversions you actually got and then you've got your conversion rate so this is basically how many people that actually clicked through made a purchase so in this instance it's zero percent because i haven't got any purchases at this moment but let's say one person purchased you do one divided by 127 that would show you your conversion rate and then if we scroll down again you have the results so with a traffic campaign the results will always be measured by how many clicks you get however with a conversion campaign it will show you how many conversions you got as your result cost per result 35p per click again now you can actually go and you can change all of the data that you see so if you click on default columns you can click on custom columns and then you can go and choose what data you want to see so you could go to video play and see how long people played your video the percentage of the video that they viewed so that's a good thing to do as well so if we click on video views I can click on confirm and I can go and see how many video views I actually got. So if we scroll to the end, we can see video views 28,000. So it got 31,000 impressions and 28,000 views. Now, if we go back to custom columns, if I click on custom columns again, I could go to video views at 75%, let's say for example, and I can see how many people actually viewed. So only 692 people viewed the video up to 75%. If we go to custom columns again, I can go to video views at 100% and we can see how many people watch the video all the way through. So if we just scroll to the end, only 200 people. So out of 28 and a half thousand views, only 200 people watched the video all the way through. So basically in this instance, when you're reading your data, you can tell some things. In this instance, I can tell that the video is probably not that engaging. So I'd want to try and create a new video ad that's a bit more engaging so people watch it all the way through. And again, if they watch it all the way through, they're more likely to click over to your website. So that is just very briefly how you can read some of the data. You just need to do some trial and error it could be your ad group it could be your actual ad so in this instance it's most likely the actual ad instead of the ad group who it's being shown to it's most likely the video is a little bit boring because people are viewing it but they're not viewing it all the way through so that's how you can read some of the data for your tiktok ads so you have set up your first tiktok ads campaign and hopefully you will see the sales flooding in very soon if you have enjoyed this video tutorial 
make sure to give it a big thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to the channel for more dropshipping and e-commerce content. Check out the two videos on screen now and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.